Hello beautiful souls, how y'all doing? Welcome to Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're new, welcome. We'd love for you to be part of our soul tribe and our loving vibe. If you're an existing sub, thank you so much for the sense of family, community on our channel. It truly warms my heart from the bottom of my heart and I appreciate your trust and your love also very, very much. A little bit about myself. I am a twin back in physical reunion with my twin. Merely just a messenger on this journey. I'm delivered sign syncs, very profound messages each and every day. And I firmly believe these messages are meant for your beautiful souls. Today is a special read. It's Valentine's Day. And um, this is a very special message for how or whoever it resonates. And I'm just going to, I've already laid out all the cards. I'm going to have a backdrop. Everything I do, I channel in a journal, if you're new, and I strictly um, flip cards out of my own entertainment purposes, and I've already done such, so I'm going to provide this message. It is a message for feminine energy. It's just energy, so don't get caught up in in uh, that energetic trap or that, that spiritual trap. It, we, it, we go through this journey, and we switch energy back and forth throughout the journey until we stabilize that equal amount of masculine and feminine energy. So with that being said, beautiful, beautiful souls, this beautiful message is for you. Take what resonates and what does not resonate, pack it away in your pocket. So happy love day. I wish you all the love in the world. And this is a beautiful message for you today. So the masculine energy, and I'm going to do present, and if they could say anything to their beautiful feminine energy, what would it be? Their present energy for, for a little while has been very low and they've been in a low vibration but they've snapped out of it. They're rebirthing into what they're, who they're meant to be. And one thing I want to say to you, feminine energy, is from the, the moment that you met, that your eyes met, they could see into your soul and they, they could see the light, you could see the light in each other's eyes and that is the gateway into the soul. They want you to know that they've never been the same since you've met. And they're, they're rebirthing. They feel a very sense of this strong 5D connection. And they feel all, all sorts of unconditional love. And they feel and hear you every day. One thing I do want to say and what they're feeling is whatever happened, however it happened, if you parted ways in the 3D world, they want you to know that they're all, you're always in their heart, you're always in their mind, and they can't shake you. They want you also to know that you've changed them. You change their the, the way they walk their, their path in on this earth. They're soul searching, and they have a sense of, an, of awareness that they've never had before. And they want to thank you very, very much for that sense of awareness. They, they are feeling a little bit stuck and that's because this 3D, um, this vibration, it always wants to suck you back in and then when you get sucked back into the vibe, they get sucked back into this vibration, then that's when the ego becomes a very strong guide on the path. Um, they're seeing all sorts of signs and sinks, they're trusting themselves, they're trusting the process, but most importantly, again, they want to thank you so much. For what you brought to them. You brought them the sense of, of, of awareness of themselves and they've been really really struggling with self-worth, self-worth challenges. They feel like they're not, they felt like they were not good enough to give you what you deserve. They want to give you a kingdom, they want to give you a palace, but at that moment in time it wasn't sustainable. They love you like no other and they want to give you like no other. And sometimes there's circumstances in in the world that they cannot give that to you. Um, but they, from the moment they saw you and met you, you, you've changed their lives and they've never felt like this towards anyone. They're also coming to the knowledge of twin flames. They know that you're their twin flame. That they're pondering over what they need to do in order to make this work. They're removing the obstacles, even though, you know, there's challenges they're removing those obstacles and divine God is moving the obstacles for you both. If this is truly your journey, this is not a Cinderella story. You don't get that glass of at the end 
and it is it's very tough and it's very difficult for both the feminine and the masculine energy you almost you, you go into like isolation but little do you know you're working together to get back to each other and the, the masculine energy is working very very hard to get back to you because they are removing those obstacles and this knowledge that has come into that's come to them about twin flames was actually give them some inner peace because they have been on a mission to find out why this love and the reason many of the masculine energies run, run is because they're first of all they're scared and uh, the ego plays tricks with 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 the mind saying there's no way that you could feel this way for someone so the instinct is to run uh, to protect their heart and I have a man just holding his heart and protecting his heart because many of these masculine energies they've been wronged by karmics and they even though you everyone in this entire universe is entitled to um, unconditional love and twins are unconditional love and empaths and they're you, you, you've given them this awareness but also this fear of rejection and they're guarding their heart but the universe God divine is is making that pathway to, towards each other um, if they could say anything to you the one thing they want you to know is that for sure they know they're twin flames they just need to know how to navigate the journey uh, they're healing they're doing everything that they need to do and you may feel um, it, you're very very strongly connected always in the 5d sometimes there's blocks and that's for your own protection because you may be obsessing over something you shouldn't be obsessing or you're perpetuating the same cycles it could be abuse addiction um, and there's that there's that block in that connection because what you're meant to it's an energy transfer of energy and we in this world are energy and if that energy is not healthy then it stops so the the masculine energy is um, feeling like you're the best friend they told you things that they've never told anyone in their entire being they felt completely comfortable completely vulnerable and they trusted you from inception and they trusted you with some of their deepest darkest secrets and you just have the uncanny ability to just flow to each other effortlessly and you know energetically you just flow to each other almost like a magnet your love is beautiful it's magic it's pure it's raw and vulnerable the masculine energy feels exactly the same towards you feminine as you feel towards them it's not always visible the soul is not visible but you this is a soul love and sometimes we want to attach ourselves to labels objects and third dimensional things and this is not a third dimensional love this is well beyond the realms of our own understanding and this can take you to greater dimensions which can be scary but also rewarding and if you free yourself you liberate yourself of the internal person that you've been in because the ego has been navigating you for much of your journey of life and it's very very beautiful they some of them feel like you're closing them out um, you know and, and they feel this energy that you're closing them out. One thing about this beautiful journey is what the masculine energy wants to tell you, feminine energy, even though I'm stuck and I'm having some challenges and I'm rebirthing into that person I'm meant to be, and I thank you, you're an angel, you're a goddess, you've done wonders for me, but please move on with your life and stop obsessing over me. This is a journey of self-love, forgiveness, and beauty. And and just getting to that love of oneself. And I'm finding a love for myself, so I want you to find a love for yourself. Um, I know that we're meant to be. I'm just trying to figure my shit out. 
and I'm trying to make my way back to you. But I also want you to do what's right for you. Um, I feel like you need some rest. You need to, um, you know, nourish your temple. And I feel there's this huge restlessness and, and sleeplessness. And, you know, it's you've got to do what's good for you. Um, the obsession is not healthy. And the obsession is a block. You have to, when you come, when you come into each other, you are meant to heal each other of trauma and wounds. And if you didn't, if you haven't had any trauma and wounds, then there's something else that you need to work on, like family karma or karmic clearing or something. But you, it's not a coincidence that you come into each other. And if you think about it, at that moment in time in your life, um, it's like God wants you to see and feel the love that we're all deserving of. They dream, they're just, they're, just, they're just dreaming of the life that they want to have with you. They're dreaming of walking hand in hand on the beach, having a picnic on the beach, um, just cooking dinner together, having a family, marriage. They're just, they're just fantasizing. They can't get you out, no matter what. They, uh, they have a love for you that even sometimes they don't even understand. But this awareness of Twin Flames is giving them that solitude and that peace. Um, you know, they're feeling, like I said, a little blocked. They have trust, they have faith. Um, they just need some rest. They need to rejuvenate. I call it the three R's, rejuvenate, rest, rebirth. And they're in just this, this, this healing mode of rebirthing this beautiful connection I feel for many of you is rebirthing into something new and that rebirth is you and peeling away those layers of who you're not meant to be and who you're meant to come into and it's always a self-awareness self-actualization higher consciousness awakening it's a beautiful beautiful thing it's scary it's confusing it's it's, sometimes it's just heart-wrenching because you don't know why you know it seems like you were living your life la vida loca and then this person comes in you have the most beautiful beautiful love that two people can share it's not even you can't even articulate it there's no word in the in the dictionary that can explain the depths of the, this love and then it gets ripped out and you just get stuck in this in this why mode and it it, it 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 is very difficult I don't know I can't explain I'm merely just a messenger here I navigated this journey in separation physical separation and by the grace of God we made our way back to each other um, I am a little bit about myself I'm a finance professional I work in management um, was married for 20 years in that particular relationship for 24 years marriage ended this beautiful soul came into my life weeks after and I f and I you know we had this bubble love for a couple of months and then we parted ways it wasn't nasty it was just wasn't the right time for either one of us but I do remember my twin always saying to me what do you see in me what do you see in me what is it you want and I, I, I couldn't understand why he was saying that but as I navigated throughout the journey I realized that you know there was some challenges there and we were never meant to be at that time um, some of us just have to continue to learn cycles, karmic cycles, until we actually learn the lesson. I felt like I learned my lesson, but maybe there was more lessons that he needed to learn. Um, you know, I feel like this door is opening, but and, and in divine time. And the very valuable message I want to say to you is the masculine is holding their heart. They're protecting their heart. They're vulnerable. They've never felt love like this before. And they have been hurt extremely in the past. And it has to do with infidelity and trust. So they have a guarded heart. But they, as much as they try to deny the love that's in their heart and soul, they can't. They have to come clean. And Divine is, is, is stepping in and making clearing that pathway for you both. It doesn't come without consequence. You have to do what is meant for you. 
and there is a lot of consequence there is a lot of um, sorrow there is, is a lot of just I don't know that dealing with this trauma and coming to the, the self-love of oneself is a very tough journey um, it, it, to get to where you need to get to but the, the, the goal of the journey is, all, is ultimately having a love for yourself I think that's what God wants you know and when you love yourself you liberate yourself and when you liberate yourself you free yourself and when you free yourself that's when you come back to each other that's when the magic truly occurs you really truly have to love yourself I was navigating the journey and writing and I write I'm a writer I wrote thousands and thousands and thousands of pages probably about 4,000 pages of just sheer messages and I don't know where these messages came from I don't know um, I just had trust and faith in my heart that these messages were navigating me back to the truth of myself and ultimately to the beauty of our love. And that's one thing the masculine energy wants you to know, is they have faith and they have trust in God and divine. And they know that all will work out. And they do love you like no other. And they want you to know that. And just to keep the faith in in divine God universe, how, however you resonate. And the magic of your faith and your trust will ultimately bring you back to each other when it's meant to be. But you have to be the best version of you. So two loving messages I have um, for you today, tonight, this evening, is you are who you are because of your history. All has helped you grow in, in love and wisdom. Every experience has blessed you in some way. Embrace the past. Forgive anything that needs forgiving. Very, very important message. Sometimes we live in the past and we're not forgiving. And sometimes we blame the past for who we are right now. Well, if this didn't happen, this didn't happen. You're meant to move on. The past is meant to teach you lessons. And if you need to go back and review the lesson that you needed to learn, that's fine. But harboring bitterness of the past is just robbing you of the moment of now. And live in the beauty of this moment. As I said, they're, they're lessons. And the last message I have for you beautiful souls today is we are eternally blessed by a profound love, by a sacred union with a great source of light whose love moves the earth and stars. This is a sacred union. It's a great source of light. What you do for each other is the most beautiful gift that human beings' souls could ever experience. And it is also with light. There is some darkness. But in the darkest of the nights, the stars shine brightest. This is a love that can't be severed. And nothing can ever come in between you. The only block in between the two of you, which is truly, we're all connected in some way, somehow, in this beautiful world that we live in, is you. You are your own block, because if you allow that ego to navigate your journey, and not the voice of your heart, then you're going to be navigating a journey with blinders on. So thank you very much. Happy Love Day. Happy Valentine's Day. However you resonate. Um, I bless each and every one of you and hope that you find that inner solitude, that peace, that love that you are so deserving of. The divine door is opening. There's some amazing things happening and that amazing and those amazing things are the beauty of each of your souls. Have a super day, folks.